Overthinking. Overthinking is one of the most powerfully, stupidly chemical reactions that go on in your brain. There, there's no other experience like overthinking. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we speak and cover the topic of overthinking. I suffer with overthinking. I also suffer with ADHD, anxiety. I've been in the depressed state. I suffer with loads of other mental health problems. And I'm here to discuss it with you, here to normalize it with you, here to just have a general discussion and hopefully you can get something out of these videos. I do it. I'm doing a whole series of this. Last week I covered social media and the toxic side of social media. And today we're going a bit a little, little bit deeper and we're going to be speaking about overthinking. So what is overthinking? Overthinking is when you think of something for too long and for too much and it causes a negative reaction inside your brain. The chemicals inside your brain just keeps on and on and on and on and on about these things and it makes the worst out of it. You never overthink the positive side of things. If you were to overthink a positive side of things, so for example, my bank card, okay? If I was to overthink about my bank card, I'd overthink, oh, someone's robbed my bank card. My bank card's broke. Oh, I, you know, I haven't got enough money. I can't survive without my bank card. I can't survive without, you know, I'm going to die if I lose my bank card. I'm going to die if I don't have money. I'm going to, you know, you overthink every possibility about these bank cards, but to the point where it comes obsessive, it comes really obsessive and over you overthink the negative. So you could also go into the paranoia side of overthinking as well, where you think, okay, maybe my bank is tracking me because of my bank card, or maybe, um, you know, the government are tracking me because of the bank card. It's possible people do overthink as silly as it sounds. People do overthink oh, like over too much. Imagine overthinking, but ne positive. Imagine thinking this bank card is the best bank card that I've ever had. This bank, I'm really sure, really shouldn't be flashing my bank card around, right? Should I? This bank card is the best thing that has ever, you know, come to my life. This bank card is going to take me far. This bank card is going to take me to the next level of life. If you think of it like that, it sounds stupid, but you're thinking of the negatives. When you sit there and overthink, it doesn't sound stupid to you because you're overthinking everything that could go wrong instead of all the possibilities of goodness coming out of these situations. It's human nature to think things through. When you're going to make a decision and you feel like it's going to be a big decision or even just a small decision saying that, because I overthink small decision decisions. So when you're about to make a decision, it's a natural instinct to overthink it and think of the possibilities. What could happen if I do make the decision? What could happen if I make the wrong decision? Decision, you do overthink it and it's normal that is a very normal thing to have that is a very normal normal chemical inside your brain to happen that's totally normal what's not normal is when you obsess over that thing and when you start overthinking it and thinking of the negative and the po possibilities of everything going wrong but also keeping possessive about that thing so when when something's happened or when I've got to make a decision or when I need a life change or when and anything in life makes me overthink I don't just overthink for them five seconds. When you're an overthinker, you should just overthink for the five seconds, quick decision, and then the decision is made. Oh, that situation has happened. But if you're like me and you overthink the situation for the next couple of days or for the next hour or for the next 24 hours while you go to sleep, you're overthinking the whole situation constantly instead of just letting it go. I've been in positions where I've overthought to the point where I've had dreams. I've, I've been dreaming of the situation and everything can go that goes wrong in that situation and everything that could go wrong. It is literally an end of, and it, you can't stop it. There is no way to stop it, but th there is ways to stop it. Treatment does help. It is curable, curable with treatments. If you do suffer with this, I would advise you going out and getting help because it can really, really, really destroy your mental health and your, meta your, your mentality. It's like you can't get that thing or that subject out of your head, no matter how much you try. I've, I've tried to, so a lot of people say when you're overthinking and when you're trying to get over that overthinking, a lot of people just say, distract yourself, you know, do something else. And I'll try that. I've been in situations where I've overthought. My worst situation in life where I overthink is my relationship. Okay. I overthink my entire relationship constantly every single day. I worry about it. I have constant anxiety. It's not healthy. It's not healthy for me and it's not healthy for Dan because the pressure that I, the questions are constantly questioning I have trust in the man I have full trust he has my trust in life I fully trust him 
but my mind just will not stop, okay? And when I'm in their modes, when I'm in their moments and something's triggered me to overthink, so I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm overthinking, I'll try, and distra- I'll try and distract myself. I'll make a video, I'll edit a video, I'll watch YouTube videos, I'll do some research online, I'll try my best to distract myself. But no matter what I do and no matter what you will do, you cannot stop that overthinking and you cannot stop them voices in your head letting you overthink these situations. And it, it's hard, it's very very, very, very hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Overthinking is definitely one of the most tiringly exhausting, mentally draining situations in life that you can go through. Anxiety is hard enough. I suffer with anxiety since I was a young child. I can, I cannot remember life without anxiety and I would love to one day be free from my anxiety, but I feel like I have anxiety about everything. I had anxiety before I even started this video. I have anxiety walking out my front door. I suffer with anxiety anxiety very bad I've learned to mask it that is my that is my main reason why I'm continuing through life without any anxiety help is because I've learned to mask it I've learned to block it I've learned to stop it anxiety I've seemed to got under some sort of little bit little bit of control but I cannot get control and no matter how hard I try I cannot get control off the off the overthinking and it, it's it is honestly really really hard to live with if you don't live with overthinking and you you can make quick decisions or you can over you can think of something and you're not going to be get obsessive over it you're not going to worry about it constantly 24 7 until you have been reassured fully not by other people because other people can't reassure you okay you, other people in that situation when you're having an overthinking moment no one no one not even yourself can calm you down and bring you out of them I've had people try I've 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 asked questions and people have given me truthful answers from the bottom of their heart and I still overthink it no one can reassure you in that moment and it it's it's it is horrible it is very horrible because that's all you want that's all you really truly want is that reassurance that everything is going to be okay but you can't get it. You cannot get it. And I, I, I do want to put a, a warning on this video because it can be triggering for some people, um, speaking about this kind of stuff because it can trigger you to overthink. And I'm sorry if you're watching this right now and you are overthinking, but I just want to let you know that it's not real. Okay. What you were overthinking, everything that you were overthinking is not real. Everything is a lie and everything that you are overthinking is never going to happen gut feelings okay there a lot of people live off gut feelings and say my gut feelings you know right my gut feelings always right and stuff like this but no it's not it's not honestly over right what life is meant to be is life is meant to be no matter what decision that you make in life life already has a path path made out for you you can take that good or bad you can you can you can take that in a bad way if your life has not been the best right now and the decisions that you have made has not brought you to a good path in life but you can also make it a good thing because if you didn't do, if you didn't go down this path, yeah, your life, if you're in a bad path right now, your life could have been a lot better. Or if, if you are going through something that is just really not, really not fair on you. Yeah. Life could have been a lot better if you made a different decision, but who would have you been if you made that decision? That's what you got to think of. Who would have you been if you do make them decisions that you overthink? Because sometimes you can be the better person. Sometimes they can make you to be better but sometimes life is already planned for you, so you have to keep going. Does anyone want a bit of chocolate? Are you? Another thing that I do and I suffer with bad and a lot of other people who suffer with overthinking could possibly feel the same. I'm not sure, but one thing that I feel really, really, really plays on my mind a lot is if someone acts out of ordinary or someone act- someone's having a bad day, okay? So put it this way, someone is having a bad day and they are not feeling themselves they're not feeling up to anything they they just want to chill they just want to relax and they just want to rewind um and if i if i feel i i i'm like pretty <coughs> I'm like pretty good at um like picking up energies of people. I don't know whether that's because I overthink or whether that's just because of it's me. But I'm pretty good at reading other people's energies and feeling how they're feeling. And if someone's having a bad day and if someone's not feeling talkative or someone's not feeling themselves, I'll overthink that I've done something. I'll overthink constantly that I've done something and I constantly need reinsurance that I haven't done anything and that nothing that I have done has affected them for their mood it's it's their day and how they've done 
And I know that I haven't done anything. I'll sit there and I'll rewind my life with them to make sure that I haven't done anything that I've upset them. And I'll try my best to stop thinking of that. But no matter what I do, I just can't. I, I seem like I zone out sometimes because no matter what I'm doing, I'm just constantly thinking it. And it's the same with like the past. I'll dwell on the past. I'll constantly overthink my past and I'll constantly overthink the life ahead of me, no matter what what is to do with. Like I'll constantly overthink what happens if if me and Dan break up. Okay, what happens if me and Dan breaks up? Why would we break up? What is going to cause that breakup? Why, you know, why I don't want to, I don't want that. So how can I change it? How can I change things now when in reality, I don't need to change anything because nothing is going to happen. I'll overthink everything when it comes to, when it comes to my future and it's really not good because you should be looking forward to your future. You should be building your future, but I can't build my future when I'm just constantly worrying about it and I'm constantly worrying about how my life is going to turn out but I'm not doing anything to turn it out, if, if that makes sense. We all analyze everything. We all figure out the situations and everything. But people who overthink and get obsessive over it, as I said, like, if, if you don't answer, we'll call you. And if you don't answer, we'll call you again and again and again. We will not take the hint that you cannot answer the phone or you're working or you're busy. We, we don't take that hint. We're like, why aren't they answering? Are they, is something happened? Are they dead? Have, have something happened to them? Do they need, are they in hospital? Are they had a car crash? Why are they blocked? Why aren't they, why are they ignoring me? They're, they're literally, oh, they're literally ignoring me right now. What have I done? Have I done anything? Have I done something that's made them upset? Have, have, have we broke up? You know, you overthink everything and we'll keep going and going and going until we get that answer, until we get the I'm okay sign. Like you, and then before, the worst thing is, is that you'll sit there with anxiety but calling them because you know that you're calling them is the wrong thing to do. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. But somewhere along the lines in life, when you've built a relationship with someone, whether it's a friend, family, therapist, anyone, anyone, if you've built your relationship up with someone and they understand that you overthink, they become your therapist. Okay. They don't just become your life. They become your therapist in a nice way. I don't mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like Dan, I, I basically go to him with everything. If I have a problem, if I'm overthinking, if I, if I feel like crap, if I'm having a bad day, I will go to him and I will speak to him and he will become my therapist for the next five minutes because I know that he actually cares. I know that he's listening and he's going to help me and me telling him these things and me, me expressing how I feel really, really helps. I found some little quotes, um, that I just want to go over with you guys. It's from Pack a Mob. Um, it's called to, to my friend or to the friend who thinks everything by Christine Corley. Um, I will link it down below guys, but it's basically an open story to someone who suffers with overthinking and suffer with anxiety and overthinking. And I just want to read out a couple of little quotes out here because some of these things will make you think, and some of these things will be like, Okay, maybe it can trigger something in your brain, okay? So you're creating a problem that isn't there. And that, that's true. When you overthink these situations, when you overthink anything in life, you're creating problems that are not there. You're creating a scenario in your, in your brain that is not true and that will never come true no matter how much you think of it. It's never going to come true. You're creating problems that are just not there. That's true, okay? So you don't need to re replay every detail. You don't. You do not need to re repeat every single detail, or ask a million people for advice. I don't know if anyone else does this who overthink, but I do it and it's so annoying. I feel sorry for my friends or family. If someone acts out an ordinary or if something goes on or if, if I'm feeling ill, I have anxiety and health, okay? So if I'm feeling ill or if something happens, geez, everyone knows about it and I'm constantly asking for advice. I'm constantly asking, is this right? How do I fix it? What, what, what? Give me some advice. People give me some advice in these situations. Like I overthink it to the point where I'm asking people for advice and I'm irritating them. Here's a question. Here's some questions to ask yourself in a funny way. Okay. Have my brakes failed? Have my brakes stopped working? And the reason why that's the question is because the number one reason you start overthinking is that your brain has brake problems. Your frontal lobe, the the center of your brain basically should apply your brakes to non-productive worriness and thinking. It's the same with anxiety. Anxiety is literally a tiny little part of your brain that has a block in it. And when and when you something goes wrong or where you have a, a moment that triggers these different imbalances inside your brain, it can be anything. It can be honestly anything. Your brain 
loses that ability to stop it. Your brain stops that block. So everything going in is being processed around this little, little tiny organ inside your brain. This little, little part of like part of your brain that you'll never be able to see is like just constantly floating around with information, overthinking everything. And it doesn't know how to stop. A lot of the times, the reason why this can go on and on and on and the brakes can fail is because you're tired, you're hungry, your life routine has gone downhill, you're unhealthy and your imbalance inside your brain in, in your body is just not working properly because it's not getting the right fuel. It needs the proper fuel to get these proper brakes and I've had days when I'm tired or I'm hungry or I'm like really not doing my best. I'm not feeling my best. And they are my worst days. They are the days that I overthink the worst. It's not only, it's not always that. Don't get me wrong. It's not always that. Anxiety can be, anxiety can be a huge part of, of your, your life in, inside your brain. So I just want to go over a few things that have helped me when I'm having an overthinking moment or when I'm having an overthinking attack. Um, I just want to go over a few strategies and just a few little things that have helped me along the way. One of these things is to keep going. Don't stop. Don't let that, don't let that overthinking take over your entire day and your entire mood of the moment. Stop thinking. Well, don't, you can't stop thinking. That is a stupid thing to say because you can't stop thinking but what I mean is keep going in a way that's just going to distract you don't sit there and think about it keep going move on move to the next situation move to the next thing to think about like just keep going don't stop if you stop and think about the sorry meat and chocolate <laughs> if you stop and thinking about the situation you're gonna ruin it you're gonna keep going you're gonna know it's gonna win it's gonna win you've got to not let let it win you've got to keep pushing through and keep going and going and going otherwise it will win and you will lose Another thing that have helped me is to understand it in a way of... I just want to say sorry. My mum's just brought me a really nice salad. And it's really nice. So if there's anything I want you to take away from this video... It's not that I'm not I, I'm not a therapist, okay? So you don't have to take anything away from this video. I just thought it'd be cool to do this kind of videos and just start speaking about this stuff and normalising it. I'm not a therapist. I'll never be a therapist. If anything, I need this to be a therapist. But... I just want to take away from, I want you to take away from this video that it's normal to overthink at an extent, but it's not normal to be obsessive. Now, if you have a problem of overthinking, you need to speak to someone, you need to get help if you can't manage it of your own. If it's ruining and just and controlling your life, you need to get help and use that help and, you know, change it because it's curable. It, it, it can be taken away. The brakes can be put back on. You just need help in doing so. Say hi to my dog. That's Lil. Um, also, I want to take, I want you to take away from this video is to tell it to stop. Stop overthinking. Stop being obsessive with these overthinking. It's harder to, it's harder to, it's easier to say than to do. I know. It's, trust me, I know. But try. Try. Try to stop overthinking. If something over, if something starts overthinking, just, just remove it. Remove it. Forget about it. It's life. Life is already planned out for you. No matter what you do, life's already planned. You can't stop it. You can't change it. There's no changing it. There's no stopping it. It's already there, done for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I I just wanted to welcome you all to my channel as well. If you if you've continued to the end of this video, then thank you. Um, and I hope that you enjoy. And I hope you enjoy these these series. The next series, the next episode I have coming out for these series, is about addiction. Um, in many of ways, drugs, alcohol, personality addiction, um, mentally addiction, in loads of different ways. You're all beautiful. Keep thinking, but in positive ways. Peace. My first video is coming back onto YouTube after this detox. I've deleted Facebook, I've deleted Instagram, TikTok, everything. There's I have